Well, hello everybody, it's uh, Suffolk Andy here at St. Mary the Virgin at Belkstead, just outside Ipswich, about three miles or so. Little old church here. We've been here once or twice before, but it's a beautiful spot and a good spot to start a vlog off from. Right, my vlog today is going to be a story, a true story that happened last week in my household. A story of utter desolation, a story of utter despair, a story of people who couldn't come to grips with one of life's challenges. And the best way to start any story is from the beginning. So I think I'm going to get on my bike, I'm going to fill your room with this horrendous story that happened in Suffolk Andy's household this week. Yes, let's start. On Tuesday, I came home. And when I walked in the uh, living room, there was some devastating looking people sitting there. And I said, what's the matter? They went, you won't believe it. And I said, what? They went, we've got no internet. I said, what? We've got no internet. The hub's not working. Or the router. I said, no. I said, have you turned it on and off and rebooted it and all that sort of stuff? Yeah, yeah, we've done all that, but that won't work. And I'm like, hang on a minute. So I went over and done all the things to see if that was going to work. No lights on it, nothing. It was dead. So then they said, you're going to have to do something. I said, well, what the hell do you want me to do? Well, you're going to have to phone up Virgin and get them to sort it out. We can't be without internet. Okay, calm down. So I got on to uh, Virgin, got through. I had to go through one of these automated voice things. And they said, can you put your last three letters of your password through? Frigged if I knew what it was. I've had it for years, couldn't even remember. So I put anything down and I still got through. So much for that, I would say. <laughs> anyway. I got through and they done their checks and come back and said we're very sorry your route is not working it's dead so I turned around to them in the room and I said yes they just confirmed it's dead the shock and horror the shock and horror on their faces it was a sight to behold you would have thought the whole world was coming to an end so, they said, well, they've got to do something, they've got to do something. So I said, okay, just wait, they're going to do something. So, they said, we'll send you a new router in two to three days. So I turned around to them and I said, look, they're going to send us a new router in two to three days. Two to three days? We can't be, a, we can't have, a, we won't have an internet for two to three days. I said, yeah, that's right, you won't. Oh, my God. What are we going to do? I go, fuck all. You can't do nothing about it. It's going to take two to three days. So Mrs P sits there and she says, what am I going to do? I said, what do you mean what are you going to do? She said, I've got no internet for my games. She said, no, I get free goes at night. So <laughs> I said, you get free goes at night? Yeah, and I need them. I said, well, you've got no internet for two to three days. Well, there must be something we can do said nothing she looked crushed broken but poor woman <laughs> so <laughs> I'm laughing now that was so bad Amy says well I won't be able to get in touch with my boyfriend down in Dorset I was like oh no you won't what am I going to do I said nothing you're going to just have to miss him for two to three days oh she says i don't know what i can do then she comes up with an idea for her mum she says i've got some data on my phone i can set up a phone hotspot so she done that and pauline got back on the internet 
you'd have thought she'd won the bloody footballs or the lottery. She looked a happy woman. But then she realised she could only have that hot spot as long as Amy was at home and she was off to university for a couple of days. <laughs> Devastation strikes again. But I must admit, I, uh, oh cat, look. <laughs> I must admit, I did, that did cross my mind. I thought, well, I put a vlog up on Monday and I'd had about 25 replies and it was coming up to 30. And I thought, oh Christ, I can't, uh, can't reply to those and I knew Amy was away for the weekend so I thought that'd be a week and it did sort of make me think hmm I don't like this well cut a long story short Mrs P decided that night to go out to the bingo to get away from her desolation of not having any internet with her sister so I spent the night <laughs> watching TV which is something I haven't done for years. I watch everything on YouTube or on the internet. And uh, <laughs> what a boring night that was, I must admit. I must admit. Well, the next day came and they're all like, hey, maybe, maybe it will come a day early. I said, it could come three days. Well, the next day it didn't come. Another night of devastation and day of devastation. So, <laughs> On Friday, I get a text. Your package will be with you between three and five. Well, when I told them, you would have thought, again, they'd won the lotto. You would have thought everything in this world had come to a one high ceiling of excellence. <laughs> and when the man pulled up, that, every, that was made me laugh as well. Every freaking van that came down the road, they're up the window looking to see if it was the delivery van. And in the end, it was. And he got the box out of the van and walked down the path of the house. And you could feel it. You could feel the relief. And then I got it in and they said, well, you got to connect that up and then we can get in touch with Virgin and get it sorted out. And we did. So the moral of the story is, <laughs> can we live now that we've got the internet and everything we do all ingrained in our lives, could we actually live without it now? Could we go back to the old days where the only time you made a phone call was from a phone box or from a landline? Could we do that again? Or even if you think about the internet when it used to be dial up and you had to dial it up and if anybody phoned it <laughs> took you off the internet you used to hate people phoning you up because you could get taken off the internet but the trouble is everything today is all ingrained on that internet even government sites uh, even pay and, and everything is internet based what the hell would happen if it crashed for good we would be in a state of absolute chaos there's no backup there's no you know we've got a second plan here there's none so give me your thoughts on what you think this world would be without the internet or could you survive without the internet now because I must admit it did you know, after two days, I was getting a little bit fed up of doing the stuff I was doing. You know, trying to keep myself amused. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> I must admit, I was quite happy. Look these bloody roads in Suffolk. I was quite happy when that man walked down that road with a box in his hand. And we got our router back. Wow. Yeah, so let me know what you think. Could we? Do you think it was a better time without the internet? Or do you think the internet has changed all our lives for good and now can never be broken from it? And I think that's the, that's the crux of the matter. Because I must admit, I'd have to say myself, I wouldn't want to be in a world without the internet. Uh, it has enlightened so many things, enhanced so many things. Yes, there's bad sides of it, there's a lot of good sides to it. So anyway, I'm going to end there. 
let me know what you think. I don't know if you've ever had a tale of woe so bad in your house that you thought the whole world was going to come to an end because there was no internet for two to three days. <laughs> anyway, all right, safe. Love each other. Something Andy!